Hey guys, welcome back to another week's episode. Today I want to share this awesome Browse Monkey 15 litre fridge with you guys. Um, I've actually got it for Christmas last year and so far it's been my daily day trip fridge basically. So whenever I go on day trips I pack this good one in. Yeah, it's just so nice having a small fridge in your car that keeps everything nice and cool for you. This one can go up to minus 20 degrees, which is absolutely awesome. It's only 15 liters, so you can only fit a small, you know, they say 30 cans in there, which is, you know, more than enough for me. And you might also wonder what this slot here is. Now, it's actually placed for a portable battery. Now, you do get three different types of batteries. You get the 5 amp, the 7 amp, and the 15 amp. And yeah, you can just basically pop it in there take the fridge wherever you want and it will be able to stay cool. Now, I don't have the battery because usually I just keep it in my car connected to my AGM battery. So that that works fine for me, just leaving the fridge in the car. But if you're that sort of person that, you know, wants to go down to the creek, have a picnic and take this fridge with you, you can always buy a battery and that's going to keep your fridge going till whenever you want it to. So, that is pretty handy. It's also got awesome features. Now you can connect it to your Bluetooth phone. So when you sit down in the creek, you can actually, you know, control it from there. When the fridge is in your car, if you want to make it warmer, you want to make it cooler, if you want to turn it off, all those sort of things. So it's super cool. You can use the USB cable down there to charge your phone, which is pretty handy. And it's also got a solar input. So what you need to do is just connect your solar to the fridge and it will be able to run off solar. So how cool is that? It's either 12 volt battery or a portable battery in here or solar, like three in one. That's pretty awesome and it comes with Bluetooth. So, you know, you can get this at Rotec Marine for around $270 and it is on special at the moment I saw for $30 off. Um, so, I mean, that's an absolute bargain. So yeah, guys. Basically, what I'm gonna show you is put some water in here and then we're gonna time it to see how long it takes to go from the temperature that I put it in to minus four, because that's usually the setting that I put it on if I wanna cool down my drinks, it's minus four. So let's put the water bottles in and turn the fridge on and then we'll time it to see how long it takes to reach minus four degrees. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so I got about 12 bottles of water in there, which is not too bad. It's connected to the battery and it's also worth mentioning that this fridge is a 60 watt compressor. So it's pretty big for the size. So let's turn it on and let's whack it to minus 4 degrees. No worries. It's on max, it's got an eco mode as well, but it's on maximum and it's showing 12.9 volts, which is great. So yeah, let's close that up and see how long it takes. So it has just been an hour and it's sitting on two degrees so yeah i'm not gonna wait any longer um, but i would say it takes about an hour to an hour 15 to go under zero degrees to like minus four um but yeah so oh hello oh yeah luckily that's nice and cold so i'm just gonna have that after this wait that'd be good all right cool i think it takes that long because it's fully stacked with like 12 bottles of water um, so everything is going to take a bit long. So it went from 27 degrees down to 2 degrees in about an hour's time. So it's not too bad. So what I would recommend if you're going on trips, uh, like day trips, just start it up an hour before you leave. And by the time you hit the road, it's going to be on zero degrees. And by the time you hit your destination half an hour or an hour later, it's definitely going to be on minus four. So it will, yeah, it's, it's fine. I've tested it before without anything in there and then it's like half an hour, then it's on minus four, but that's without any 
you need like water in there so the motor is working pretty hard but yeah overall that's not too bad very happy with that well there you go guys uh, so yeah this fridge is pretty cool i like it very much i think the best way to make sure it's going to cool down in the fastest possible way is not to load it up with heaps of bottles i'll probably put like six in there and then some ice blocks even to you know speed up the cooling process and then once it's hit that temperature it's going to stay there and it's going to you know cool it down real nice so there you guys there you go you can find it at Rotec Marine or JCar, whichever is closest to you. And yeah, absolutely love it. Got a three year warranty as well. And I did have a chat to the salespeople over there and they said if there's any problems, like with the compressor, you can just take it back and they give you a whole new fridge. It's not like they're giving you some parts, they give you a whole new fridge. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, a lot of people might not know of the brand Brass Monkey. It is probably Chinese, but Overall, I'm very happy with it and yeah, it's doing the job. So thumbs up for me. It is affordable and it's got so many features like Bluetooth, portable battery, solar input. Like surely this is one of the coolest fridges you've ever seen. I don't even know about any other sort of fridge that comes with all these features. So yeah, it's a, it's a thumbs up for me. Thanks for listening guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.